ever wondered why your ideal customer does not just bubble up in HubSpot? We're gonna fix that in this video. Even the most seasoned users often forget to flag high value companies in their HubSpot. Target accounts is the perfect way to do this. And there's a couple of different ways that we can use target accounts which I'm gonna show you right in this video. My name is Jasper, I'm a certified HubSpot consultant and let's dive right in. So let's first have a look at target accounts. So when you go to the CRM and then companies, you will see in the top right here that we do have the option to go to target accounts. And here you can see I have two target accounts listed right here. Now, there's a couple of different ways that we can add target accounts, and I'm gonna show you the different ways in this video. So when you go to choose target accounts here, you can look at all of the companies in the CRM or companies from a certain list. And you can also look at net new companies, but this only works if you have the target accounts from Breeze Intelligence already set up, which is not the case right here. So we'll just look at the CRM here and here we're able to add any new companies to our target accounts. So let's say we want to add these two. This is one way to easily add target accounts in your CRM. So when we close this and we refresh the page, we will see that these target accounts have now been added. Then Another way that we can do this is within companies themselves. So often we don't really want to go to the screen for target accounts. So instead we'll just go to our companies here. And then on the left side here, we're gonna add an easy way to add target accounts. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to customize properties. And when you do it this way, by the way, this is just going to be for your HubSpot user, but I'll also show you how you can do this for everyone in the account as well. So here we're going to look for target account. Let's add this to the top because it's something we want to focus on right now. And now we can see that we have the option to add a target account right here. Now, if you want to do the same thing for every user in your account, we will go to the default view settings here. As you can see, it already opens about this company and then we'll add target account right here. Now something that's good to know is that when we save it here, we're gonna save and exit. If you already have customized the different properties right here, and you do wanna get the default properties for your account, you can just go to customize properties here and then reset to system defaults. And this way you will have the same properties in there as everyone else in the account. Now, something else that we want to add here is if we go again to our settings here, and I'll do it in the default one again, we also want to make sure that we add our ideal customer profile here because that's part of the target accounts as well. So when we add that in there, you can also select the ideal customer profile tier right here within the company record. This also makes it way easier and you don't need to switch between your target accounts view um, that we have from the beginning of this video and a company record if you're working in the company record already. I think there's a good use case for both of these views, um, but often we just want do not want to switch between them all the time. So now we're all set with this part. If this video is helpful, please give it a like subscribe to the channel for more HubSpot excellence and we'll continue with the video. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can make these target accounts even more useful. And that is uh, a first one here is gonna be if we want to add a view and let's say we want a company view with just the target accounts. We'll make that available for everyone. And then we can filter here on target accounts. And now this list will show just our target accounts. If you want to go even one step further or, well, let's save this for now. And then we want to add a quick filter here. We'll create that quick filter on the ideal customer profile tier. We'll save that. So now you have a view for your target accounts and you have a very easy way here to just select the ideal customer profile tier, as well as, for example, you can just view the target accounts that you are the owner of. So this gives you a lot of great ways to use target accounts to get the information that you need right here. Obviously, you can add the different columns here to make it even more clear. So let's say that we want the ideal customer profile shown right at the front here. 
we can save that as well and this way we have all of the information that we need right here and we can take action on these accounts. If you want to take this one step further and automate part of this, we'll create a quick workflow that will automatically mark a target account as soon as we select the ideal customer profile. So I'll just name this mark target account after ICP has been selected. We always want to make sure that these are descriptive. So we'll do filter criteria, company, then we'll go to company properties. We'll go to our ICP here and we'll say if the ICP is known, that's when we want to enroll the records in this workflow. And then when that happens, we do want to edit the records. We want to make sure that it's selected as a target account. So we'll set the value to true. And now every time that an ideal customer profile is selected, we'll automatically mark that company as a target account. One thing that I forgot here, we do want to make sure that it's not already a target account because that just would be a duplicate action here. So we'll say not equal to true or empty. And there we go. So when this is the case, we'll make sure that the target account is set to true. Now, one more thing that we want to do here is if we go to lists, it's always a good idea to have a list of contacts at a target account. We first always want to check that the list doesn't exist yet because I see a lot of duplicate lists when working in accounts. So we'll create a contact list here. Then we'll name this contacts at target accounts. We'll add a filter and we want to filter on the linked company, the associated company right here. We'll look at the company properties and we'll go to target accounts. And when the target account is true, we want those contacts to be added to this specific list. So we'll save this. This is an active list, so it will automatically update. And as we can see, we'll get all of the different contacts at target accounts. So with this list, you can now also easily create reports based on the activities with companies at target accounts. So for example, let's do a um, single object report here. We're gonna do this on contacts. We'll select the let's say the last activity date here or maybe even uh, last contacted so when we have last contacted here we're gonna go to let's have this on all data we also want to make sure that this is last contacted as well then when we go to the visualization we want to show last contacted and we want to show this specifically for contacts at target account so we'll do list membership our list contacts at target accounts. Then we'll do this on a monthly basis. And this way you also always will have an easy overview of when the contacts at your target accounts have been last contacted. Of course, this is just one quick example. There's a lot more options here that we can use. Also, this is a demo account, so there's not a whole lot of data here. But I hope you get the idea of how you can really use the target accounts feature to get the right information in HubSpot and make sure that you get real insights from how we're working with these target accounts. So we'll give this a name, we can save this and we're all set here. This gives you a laser focused list for your target accounts that your team can rally around. If you like this video, I'm sure you're also gonna love this video right here on how to use HubSpot's new lead scoring tool. You will need to implement the new lead scoring tool before the end of August, 2025. So when you see this before then, this is a great reminder to update your lead scoring tool as the old one will be deprecated or basically sunsetted at the end of August. Let me know in the comments if you give this a try and subscribe to the channel for more HubSpot excellence. See you in the next one. Bye.